England and Austin, Texas. Please give a warm welcome to an Englishman and a bell. <laughs> I used to play rugby. 
I don't anymore. And I describe myself as a rugby player, but that was not my job. My job was a tax account. And that's what I get paid for. That's what I pay for our house. And I'll manage. And I'll love. Also my secretary. And that's right. And you did wonderful work, but you balance my books and take my calls and manage my diary under my eye at all times. You do so beautifully. It's so good. I do, I am. What I do without you. So you, you can't go to Hollywood, you have to do those things for me. I think I've got to go to Hollywood. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll see you, you know, I mean, fine. No, I think I'm going to just go to Hollywood, it's just going to be neat. And then who's going to take over your diary? Your diary, you know what it's actually called? A planner, come to America! <laughs> <laughs> That's like real appreciation, you know, like it's there. Uh, <laughs> you know, constant of the ocean. Constancy. Constancy. Which is funny because it's always changing. Yes. <laughs> it's a really nice metaphor for life, though, isn't it? It's constant, but it's changing. It's so beautiful. I'm really glad you came with me. I know. We always sit next to each other at work and all. It's yeah. very weird. <laughs> well, we've got that little partition between us, haven't we? So it's like, it's like a cubicle. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm always like, Hi, Mark! <laughs> and I was like, hey, Dana! <laughs> but we always have different times. I know. Because if you did, let's get them. Woo! 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 I mean, we're not even in the office, but. Right, right. Because then everyone could see our conversation if you did that. Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, no, it's here now. I know. Glad <laughs> <laughs> they have these separate chairs to park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. You know, when I was little, I wanted to surf. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a surfer. Like, genuinely yeah. wanted to surf. I wanted to be in Hawaii contests, and I would watch <laughs> movies like that one about Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about these surfing movies. Well, it's an actual <laughs> movie, just the name, just, yeah. I had lost it. <laughs> but, I love Hawaii fight, though. Yeah, just 
You'll see the flash of it. Look into my eyes. Look at the, you'll see there'll be a flash in my eyes. Is there cocaine too? Yes, I know. No, 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 put it away. We don't encourage that here. <laughs> Would you mind if I... No! No, I mean, no, don't do it. <laughs> no, this is important to me, Bartholomew. Yes, I, I need you to focus. To. I'm pretty focused. I need you to focus. We've been working on this project for five years. I know. I just got it. And it hurts my arm a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. Yeah? It would be even more perfect. Okay. I hold it. And then you have your arms free. <gasps> we can bring back the fingerless gloves. <gasps> the fingerless gloves with the daisy chain back on them. Stop! Yes. You just have to stand behind me. Yes. So it's got to be perfect teamwork. Yes. We can do this. Time. We can do this. We've had five years together. Five years. To crown our craft. And this is where it comes. Yes. <laughs> this is it. This is the actual this moment. This moment. This is it. We jump on. Right this moment. Right, I really want some cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I really want some cocaine right now. Yes, Donald. How's your wife? <laughs> Dead. <laughs> All of five minutes. Really? Thirty-seven years of marriage. This is it. Kaput. 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 And gone. And gone. And five minutes, and I'm okay with it. I'm pretty. You're okay with yeah, it. Yes, I'm remarkably good, on it, You know. Yeah. I mean, Angelique never. She never appreciated the value of a good Cuban cigar. No, she didn't. So, in memory of her disapproval, <laughs> I'm smoking it here <laughs> in her favourite room, the one she crafted herself. The flock wallpaper and the three hundred dollar a can white paint on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrating our marriage and our love. When my wife told me to come over here and visit you, I didn't know it was because your wife had died. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she just wanted me to come by and say hello. Very good of her. How do you think she found out? <sighs> We died five years ago. I've not been told anyone yet. I'm not told. Women. I'm not told. Oh. Women. Oh, that, yes. Psychic <laughs> connections. <laughs> yes. They have that, don't they? They oh, do. They do. I read it in a book once. Really? <laughs> I did. Donald, you surprised me. I came over here for a cigar. Ah, good man. I'm going to go to keep one. Well, let me just uh, tip the end off it for you. Like that, and uh, let's have light at the uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's well lit. Yeah. <laughs> There's something about the way that men can light cigars off each other's cigars. <laughs> Women may have the psychic thing, we have the cigar lighting thing, and I know who got the better end of the deal. <laughs> That's what right. Cigars are better than communication. <laughs> so true. I mean, when you have a cigar, you can just sit silently with them. And Anyone. talk about your feelings. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh, yes. Let's see. Fools the feelings. These women. These women. Well. Mine's at home. Mine's up in bed. <laughs> Slowly hardening. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Fine Cuban cigar. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
buying Cuban cigars. You know, my wife never lets me smoke these at the house. You know, well. And there's no woman here to psychically tell her I am. I <laughs> don't think they can do it from beyond the dead, do you? <laughs> Oh, it's a very good point. I assume if they're psychic, they're probably also ghostly. Quite <laughs> <laughs> a good idea. Yes, Marcus. Mm. I read a book once. I also read a book once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this book said um, it's about like aliens and how they can read your thoughts. Oh yes. It said how the good tinfoil hat can stop the thoughts. <laughs> in so I had one made up just to be sure. I mean, my wife Angelique, she said, "So Marcus, you fool." You don't have any thoughts, so I'm not going to read them. She was right, so I put it away. But now, I'll put it on Angelique. Yeah. And, uh. See? Hmm. We'll see. That's right, and hopefully your wife will not know. We'll be back. Oh, I see. Dinfoil blocks the signal, it's fine. I thought maybe we were going to try to communicate with her. <laughs> it's cool. I just put the tinfoil hat on her now. Marcus. <laughs> you know you're not supposed to breathe it in. <laughs>